Hey guys, Greg here with Lens Pro To Go, and today I have another cinematography lighting breakdown. We're gonna be looking at one of the close-up shots from the performance music video we just shot, which I'll put a link to in the description below if you haven't seen it. So let's take a quick look at this shot, and then we'll get into the breakdown. Roll it. My favorite thing about this shot is probably how the Sigma lenses are handling those flares. It's pretty impressive and I can't wait to get more hands-on time with those lenses. Before I start talking about the lighting setup, I'm going to run through some of the camera settings with you. We shot on the Arri Alexa Mini in 4K, white balance was 4300 Kelvin to warm up those practicals. ISO was set to 800 at a T1.5 on the Sigma 50mm Cine Primes, and we had the internal 0.6 NDs on. Here's a 3D render of the entire setup, and I'll be jumping back to this to show you exactly where the lights are being placed, along with the actual shot so you can see what each light is doing. Again, being in the studio, we had total control of the light, so starting from completely black, we can bring in our first light, which is going to be the practical way in the back. This light is giving one of the flares to this shot, and you can't really see the bulb here, but in some of the other parts of this shot, you can because we're moving around on the shoulder rig. The second practical was placed behind them to give that rim edge separation on their hair, and the last practical is just off to camera left and giving us that awesome flare that I play around with during this shot. It's also motivating where our key light will be coming from. The key light we used was a Felix Matrix, and this was placed just behind camera left, and to soften it up, we put up that 4x6 Westcott Scrim Gym with the one-stop diffusion. This light has two purposes. First, it's obviously filling in the rest of Emily's face, but it's also the main light for her catch light. If I zoom in here, you can see it right in her eye. Eye lights are super important because it brings life to your talent. Lastly, we brought in the Felix P360 to fill in a little more from the key side and hit the back of Lily right here. This light was just bouncing up into the ceiling to give a nice overall fill. And that's gonna wrap it up for this one. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. We have one more video breakdown coming from this series that we shot on the music video. If you want more information on any of the gear that we use, I'm gonna put a bunch of links in the description below, so go check those out. And if you have any questions on lighting gear or techniques, leave them in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next one.